All right, people, what the hell is going on? It is Saturday afternoon, and I'm sitting here piddling, trying to get my little legs working, since I probably won't be moving around too much today. But this is what I had uh, to say today before I go on with the rest of my day and try to enjoy some Saturday football and all this other stuff. Um, I guess I'm going to start this whole New Year th New Year's thing that everybody uh, come through with a little bit late. Because at a certain point, you know, you got to deal with shit as it comes. Uh, <clears throat> socially, shit has been dry for like years at this point. You know what I'm saying? Shit has been dry. Um, ever since, I'd say, around 20... But I'm, oh, I'm 48 now. I'd say for the last upwards towards brown time where I turned 40. Shit has been extra dry. Um, once I stopped moving around as much uh, as far as driving and shit like that. Uh, and, and once... Um, a few years ago when I stopped working because of my vision and shit like that. Um, she got even drier. And, you know, I pay attention to shit. You know, there's a bunch of other reasons where you I'm just talk about general friendship and stuff right now. But uh, when it comes to the dating thing, it just, you know, some shit is just kind of obvious why it would dry the fuck up. But, um, mostly because of my attitude towards dealing with people has changed where I don't take as much shit <laughs> as I used to. But nowadays, the way things are now, now that I don't drive, I don't go out as much because it's more of, a, of an investment to try to move around and stuff like that. It has to be something beneficial or something that really, really piques my interest for me to just head out and, and be a part of it. And I'm like, nowadays, my phone doesn't go off uh, unless it's somebody with their hand out or I got to listen to somebody else's shit. You know what I'm saying? And I am ex extremely fed up with that. I am. I, I really am. I'm fed the fuck up with it. My phone go off. Nobody has shit to offer. You know, nobody call me. You need this. You need that. Are you hungry? Are you horny? Are you any of those things? Maybe I can help you out with that. Nobody call me with that. People call me with shit about what's going on with their life. Or they call me with their hand out for me to help in some kind of goddamn way. And generally, I'm the kind of person that kind of helps in some kind of goddamn way. I am so fucking sick of it. Now, I, I don't want to hear shit. If you're not calling to brighten up my day, help me in some kind of goddamn way, I don't want to fucking hear from you. I don't. I'm putting this out there just like that. You can take this video however the fuck you want. I don't want to hear if you ain't... If you ain't got anything to benefit me, this is one of the things I, I stopped asking for shit a long time ago. People call me all the time, need this. Okay. You show up for this right here? Okay. Blah, 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 blah. But when I call and I need something, there's always a reason to the contrary. Always. So I just basically stopped asking for shit. I stopped asking for shit because the answer was always a no or a soft no or a maybe with the uh, uh, intention of never following through. You know what I'm saying? That don't really account for everybody, but it counts for the vast fucking majority, which is why my social circle is so fucking small at this point where it's basically just me. I don't include my blood family in this. You know, I don't. 
I don't include my blood flame in this because we all operate the same goddamn way. And if we need each other, we need each other. But everybody else, you know, vast majority, and the people that are excluded from that know who the fuck they are. They wouldn't even, they'll find this video entertaining. You know what I'm saying? The people on the other side that know where they fall in this video would probably take some kind of offense to it, but it wouldn't really matter because those are people that I generally don't talk to, you know, to start with. And the ones that are that are, are guilty of what I'm, uh, I'm saying here, you know, be kind of obvious. And I'm just, I'm sick, man. Like literally, I'm sick. I'm sitting over here with kidney failure. I got tubes in my fucking chest for fucking dialysis. I'm on disability. I'm squatting in the house that's not even mine at this point. You know what I'm saying? So at any time, somebody can come by here and be like, get the fuck out, and I have to leave. You know, I thought I was getting legal help on that, but apparently no. It was very minimal. <laughs> so I got my own shit going on without other people calling me, filling my head with they shit, calling me, filling my head with they shit, and needing help for whatever the reason i'm some goddamn call server where you just call me up and i do this and i do that no 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 you know what i'm saying it's just no I, i'm not i'm not dealing with that shit anymore you know it's the end of fucking january <laughs> at this point well it's coming up on the end of january it's more than halfway but still that's it I don't want to hear no more shit from nobody. If you're not hitting me up, and and, and for the other people that I don't highly associate with, that's always hollering about, you know, I'm going to come by there and see you. I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that. And then I never, ever the fuck hear from you. You know what? Keep that shit to yourself. Keep it to yourself. You know what I'm saying? I'm not over here asking nobody for no goddamn pity party or no shit like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm not. I'm not asking for no goddamn pity party. Don't start volunteering services and say you're going to do this, that, and the other. And then I'll never hear from you. You never show up. You never follow through on it. You know? Never happens. I don't need that. I don't need I don't need your fake, fake sympathy for whatever reason. You know what I'm saying? A fake charity or something. Y'all need you offering me shit that you know you're not for to give me. You know what I'm saying? I don't need people with their hands out asking for charity and shit like that. Because, no, I'm not doing it anymore. You know what I'm saying? I'm sitting over here with needs and responsibilities and shit just like everybody else. I got to handle that shit just like everybody else. I don't need nobody dragging me the fuck down. I live by myself. I'm not married. I don't have no kids and none of that shit. I don't need these periodic dependents popping up, needing this. Ooh, excuse me. Needing this, that, and other. I don't. Here we go. Hold on one second. All right. So that was the dialysis center calling me. Uh, <laughs> that was the dialysis center calling me. Uh, you know, we got that freeze coming over the, uh, over after this weekend. So they were shuffling the schedule around and they was calling me with some information. That's the only time my phone goes off where ain't nobody calling me with some bullshit of some sorts. You know what I'm saying? That's the only goddamn time where somebody ain't calling me with, uh, with some bullshit of some sorts. It is what it is, you know what I'm saying. But it just now I'm just gonna I'm just gonna start deflecting that shit because it does me no good. It it literally does me no good. Even though you know you try your best to be civil, you don't want to be an ass. You know what I'm saying. You don't want to be an asshole or a whole ass. 
You don't want to be neither of the one. <laughs> but I I don't I don't want to I don't want to I don't want to deal with it. I don't want to hear nobody else's shit when I'm I'm standing in, a, in my own, you know, knee deep in my own shit, and I gotta listen to somebody else's. Need somebody over here. I don't need people digging in my pockets for this, that, and the other when I'm trying to figure out how to put some money in my own goddamn pocket. You know what I'm saying? I got to deal with my own financial uh, shit I got going on over here without having to support somebody else's shit. Like I said, I'm not married. I don't have no kids. I ain't in no relationship with nobody. You know what I'm saying? It just, I, I ain't got none of that going on, so I shouldn't be dealing with none of this shit. And at this point, that's that's what I'm going, that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm just going to do, I'm going to sit my ass in this fucking house and do me. You know what I'm saying? It just, my current circle has kind of faded out over time. You got to think a lot of these people I've known for, you know, 10, 15, 20 years, you know, they all out doing their own goddamn thing. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't really have any, I don't have those new folks that, you know, that you just met, you know, a couple of months ago or a year ago, anything, anything, anything like that. All those folks that, that might have felt that feel that role have been in and out long ass time ago because they looking for some other shit. And like I said, my attitude towards people has changed to where I'm not I ain't I'm not dealing with certain shit, man. It's a uh, current uh social climate. I'm not. I ain't got nothing to offer you, you ain't got shit to offer me. Bye. That's basically it. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't the only one with the attitude. That's how a lot of other people operating these days. You got shit for me? I ain't got shit for you? Go right back. Ain't no use of us even uh, doing shit. <laughs> you know? So, yeah. It'd be me, my Xbox, and me and my streaming services until I come up around some, some new people some kind of goddamn way to where um the shit ain't just some one-sided uh, bullshit going on to where somebody looking at me for something and looking at me for something. But when I need something, you know what I'm saying? I'm I'm on my fucking own. So, yeah, that's it. As I say, this video is take it how you want. It is what it is. If you watch this video and your feelings get hurt, then ain't really shit I can do about that. I'm sitting over here in my own situation. Obviously, everybody else got their own situation they're dealing with. So, uh, apparently, ain't nobody else been that goddamn concerned because my phone don't fucking ring at all, except for just now <laughs> when the dialysis center called me. <laughs> and that's it. So, bye for now. I will catch y'all on the flip.